الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم ما بعد الامام النووي رحمه الله تعالى يقول في رياض الصالحين في باب التواضع وخفض الجناح the chapter on humbleness um, modesty and courtesy towards other believers قال وعن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما نقصت صدقه من مال the Messenger of Allah says in this hadith that wealth is not diminished by giving charity. So when you give charity, it doesn't really mean that your money is going down. As a matter of fact, you're investing more with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is not the part of the hadith related to this topic. He said, وَمَا زَادَ اللَّهُ عَبْدًا بِعَفْوٍ إِلَّا عِزًّا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala augments the honor of one who forgives. Means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He elevates the status of people who forgive. You can take retaliation, but if you forgive, your status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes high. And that's a very difficult quality to acquire Allah. To be so forgiving, to be so tolerant, so lenient, without weakness. Because many people, they translate forgiveness, you know, to weakness. And if, if you forgive, that means you're weak. You cannot take a strong stance. But yeah, you forgive when you're able to respond. That's what's, what matters really the most. Because when you can retaliate and you say, you know what? Zakallah khair, I'll forgive you, inshallah. That's when it really counts the most, as the most important thing. And then he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمَا تَوَاضَعَ أَحَدٌ لِلَّهِ إِلَّا رَفَعَهُ اللَّهِ and, uh, um, and one who serves another seeking the pleasure of Allah, Allah will exalt him in ranks. تَوَاضَعَ أَحَدٌ, the word he translated to serve, I don't know why exactly, but مَا تَوَاضَعَ أَحَدٌ means when you humble yourself to someone else, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise your status, will exalt your status into very high ranks. So when people talk to you and you, you humble yourself to them, you don't show any specific difference between you and them. You know, sometimes when you talk to people, you can tell there's a huge gap between you and them in terms of understanding, in terms of social status, economic status, whatever actually status you see, you can take advantage of them. But when you humble yourself and you treat everybody like equal, there is nothing, any, uh, no difference between you and them. That is a very, very noble character and trait that people should acquire. And if you do so, your reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will exalt you in high ranks. Azza wa Jal. And to show you how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to humble himself, salawatullah wa to the people and to the public. And Anas radiallahu ta'ala, he narrates, he says, قَالَ مَرَّ عَلَى سُبْيَانٍ أو النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, أنه مر على صبيان فسلم عليهم وقال كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يفعل رواه البخاري ومسلم. أنس the companion of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when he grew older by the way أنس رضي الله تعالى he was one of the the latest companions who passed away. He 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 began his journey with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when he was ten years old, a baby, a boy basically, and he served the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم being a free man, a free man, a child of a free family. But he and his mother, they brought, she brought him to the Prophet ﷺ. She said, Ya Rasulullah, Anas, Khadam. You know, this is Anas. Make him your servant. Whatever you want, just ask him. He'll take care of it for you. So he served the Prophet ﷺ 10 years. Khadam and Nabi ﷺ, Qurabat Ashir Salamat radiallahu ta'ala. Faqala, Wallahi, ma naharani wa lakaharani. He never yelled at me. He never scolded me, ﷺ. Never. Wa ma qala li shayin fa'altu li ma fa'alta. Wa li shayin taraktu li ma taraktu. And he never blamed me for anything. If I did something, he wouldn't say, why did you do that for? And if I left something out, well, he wouldn't say, why did you leave that out? He never did that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Eventually, Anas, he grew up to become one of his oldest sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, because his mother came to the Prophet and she said, Ya Rasulullah, make dua for Anas. He's your servant, make dua for him. So the Prophet, sallallahu says, Allahumma, atil umrahu wa akthir naslahu. He said, Allah, subhanahu oh Allah, give him long life, and give him multiple, mashallah, a lot of offspring and children. And basically, and increase in his in his uh, in his wealth and his uh, and his na'am and his blessings. So Allah answered the call. He lived until he almost passed 100 years. And uh, he he himself he buried during his lifetime. They say he buried over 100 of his own offspring, meaning his children, grandchildren. I mean, a lot of maybe his wives used to uh, give him you know, doubles, mashallah, or even triplets. But eventually, Allah blessed him, radiallahu ta'ala wa ta'ala. Al-shahid huna an Anas, radiallahu anhu. One day, at that, young, at that old age, he came by a group of people, a group of young kids. Subyan. Yal'abun. Kids are playing. 
Fasallam alayhim. He said, Assalamu alaykum. To the kids. I mean, you guys, your age, if you pass by a group of kids and you say, Assalamu alaykum. In this culture, it sounds weird. Unfortunately, we inherit this kind of, you know, yani bias and that kind of relationship between adults and children that everybody who he shows any kind of kind gesture to children, there must be something, an you know, ulterior motive behind that. People have become so perverted that they think everything is wrong. And here's Anas, he passed by his kids, he says, Salaamu Alaikum. Then he turned to the people who were with him and uh, he said, uh, قَالَ فَعَإِنِّي رَأَيْتُ كَانَ النَّبِيُّ الصَّلَىٰهُ سَمْيَا فَعَلُمْ The Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to do that. He used to pass by these kids and he used to give them salam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that shows again tawadah, that's humbleness, humility, from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He didn't say that I'm the Messenger of Allah, he's an older man, that he wouldn't even care about these kids. No, you give salam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So next time when you come out from your car in the parking lot, walking towards the masjid, and you see a group of kids are playing around. It's all right, Tajima. Assalamu alaikum. Guys, kids, how are you doing? You just show some courtesy, show some kind of engagement between you and them, inshallah ta'ala. And bin they will never forget that for you. And Allah, they will always appreciate that. That the adults, alhamdulillah, they, at least they recognize their presence. At least they're here. It's not like you pass by and you know, like nobody was there. Just always have that kind of courtesy, inshallah, towards these young kids, wallahu alaikum. Zakum Allah Khairan, Barakallahu Fikum. Any question, Ajima? Yeah, Ajima. 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 Yeah,